G'day and uh, welcome to uh, this little episode of the uh, Wax Dom and Weiss guillotine saw. Uh, this is a pipe cutting saw uh, designed to cut all pipe materials. Um, it will cut uh, cast, uh, steel, uh, ductile, cement lined, uh, concrete, reinforced, uh, heavy wall PVC, heavy wall HDPE and it will also cut AC as well. Uh, it's very safe. Uh, and it's a quick uh, cutting performance. It uses a diamond wire. This uh, is the diamond wire down here. And uh, these are the diamond segments uh, that you can see here. They're all separated by about 20 mil of the little helicoils underneath the rubber. Uh, these, um, the diamonds do the cutting and these helicoils keep the diamonds apart as they go around. And as the, as you, as the wire wears, uh, the little helicoils come off which is an indicator that your wire uh, has been, has worn. So this is the uh, 416, 4 inch to 16 inch uh, in, in our terms um, in metric. This will cut anything between 80 and uh, 400 mil pipe. Um, situated here, packed up in its optional carry trolley, um, it has a set of wheels under it so you can um, um, wheel, wheel it around if, if you wish. Um, to remove the saw, we just take this little band off over here and um, lift the saw out and set it down. Um, it will come with this um, pump pack here. Uh, we must have water running on the saw, um, so this is um, uh, really important. Fill this up with water, pressurise it, plug it into the saw. You must have water running on at all times, no matter what the uh, material is, to uh, cool the diamonds down. So for starters, to um, open, open the saw up, um, we just open these little um, clips here on this side and then another one out here. And then the saw uh, then can be um, lifted onto the uh, onto your pipe material. It doesn't matter what orientation you're cutting in. Um, it doesn't have to be 90 degrees uh, vertical. Um, it can be any orientation on the pipe. So it will even actually cut horizontal as well. So it can be any, any um, side of the pipe. Um, to get into the um, saw, we open that at the top here and then um, open it out. At the top here, we can see our drive pulley and um, down the bottom there, we have two idle pulleys and the saw rotates around like this and as the operator winds the saw down, uh, the front of the saw comes down um, as it cuts the pipe. So it's really simple and safe. Uh, the saw is attached to the, to the uh, pipe, um, so once that's secured to the pipe, you can't, uh, it can't jump off or move around. Um, and all the operator has to do is stand here and uh, wind this down. So it's a very safe uh, method of pipe cutting. Um, you can also undo these side pieces here and open up um, the entire saw. Um, this is important when you've uh, actually finished cutting so you can clean the saw down. Um, it's to be able to open up and get inside uh, the saw. Okay, so once you've got the saw on the pipe, um, you then need to um, release this chain. And thread the chain underneath the pipe. You only need about a hand's width um, of space underneath the pipe to um, pull the chain under and then you just tension it up like so and make sure it's very tight and then when we get our water bottle and once it's full um, then attach the water bottle like so uh, and uh, we must have there. So this is a hydraulically driven saw 
Um, so there's two quick disconnects in the back here, uh, pressure and return, and uh, the on-off switch is uh, simply operated through the top here uh, to turn it on and to turn it off. Um, this can be um, driven from a hydraulic power pack, um, just a 2,000 psi, 30 litre a minute unit. Um, anything that will drive um, hydraulic power tools, uh, hand tools, uh, it can be used. Or quite commonly, a lot of our customers use uh, the auxiliary on auxiliary hydraulic connections on their excavator that they've used to uh, open the trench up in the first place when they're cutting um, pipe. So um, that's how it's powered. Once it's attached. Um, we always say a standard bucket scoop either side of whatever the pipe you're cutting um, to give the saw clearance to go down either side. Um, and once you're up and running, all the operator has to do is to wind this down here. Um, and as the, as the wire cuts through the, through the um, pipe, this is a tension gauge. So before we start cutting, um, we'll actually tension the wire up. and. Um, We'll move that uh, wire up to set before we start to cut. Um, this will need to be periodically adjusted as the wire is used. It will actually gain in length uh, and this puts the tension back on it. So make sure the, uh, the wire is at set before we start to cut. And then once we're cutting, we operate between cut, cut one and cut two, or those two lines there, it's on the top there it says cut one and cut two. So. Um, that's um, very important to keep an eye on that. Um, once you've actually used the saw for a while, you will actually um, get the feel of it. Um, and looking at the um, bow in the wire, we don't want too much of a bow in the wire. We don't want to load the wire up too much, just let it cut its space. If the pipe starts to actually um, squeeze, if it's offset, um, you can just stop winding and let the wire bore its, its way through. The diamond wire has actually got a twist in it, um, so it will actually bore as it's going around. Uh, that's one of the beauties of the, of the wire, um, the diamond wire is, because that's why it's using the diamonds on all sides. It's getting full use out of the saw. So, as I said, it's clamped to the pipe. It can't jump off and get you or jam and cut up, cut you. All you've got to do is uh, wind this handle down and take the uh, front of the saw down as the wire goes through uh, the pipe. So very safe, very simple to operate, very quickly. Uh, this particular pipe that we're um, actually strapped to, a bit of ductile cement lined here, um, it would probably take me around about th three minutes or less to actually cut. So uh, it's a pretty quick method.